So here we are today, witnessing the leadership styles and the specific style of my target speaker, Toastmaster Farhan Kazi. Assalamu alaikum, fellow Toastmasters. I had a lovely time today listening to his leadership skill styles because the objective of this of the project was specifically just to explain what leadership styles are, to talk about what your style is, or to speak on styles in general. What Farhan Kazi has done today is that he has touched both the aspects. He even spoke about what his specific style was and what are the other leadership styles over there. There was no other motive of having a drama or vocals or anything else. But my job today is to evaluate your speech. I'm going to shift up, jog up to the part that I loved about the speaker today. So today the speaker started his speech with a question. Asking a question and engaging the audience is the best way to start any speech. It could be through humor, it could be by a wow factor, or even asking something, letting people answer. He waited for the answer. He just didn't move on. Shows that he was genuinely engaging the audience. Second thing that I liked about the speaker was he was dressed up. Because he had a story in his speech, he was ready for it. He was on top of it. It was a small part of the body, but he actually wore a dress for it. And I like it when you dress up. So when you dress up for an incident of your speech, 50% of your confidence is at place. Number three, what I liked was the story and his body language with that story. He actually involved us by saying, one day I was running, I was on the beach and he showed us, he's forcing me right now to jog on the stage because of that story. That's the impact he has. Now if I jog up to the part, what I would recommend Toastmaster Farhan Kazi today on his speech are two parts. Content placement. I personally feel that if he would have started his speech with the story by running from there and then taking that story towards that that's my leadership style and then talking about leadership styles that others have, it might have had more impact. But that's truly really the way how I would do it, that I would start something with a story and then take audience along with it. The second recommendation that I would like to give to the speaker is the closing. I felt the closing was not as strong as how the speech started and how the body was. He could have added a more audience engagement, asked a question, threw something or jogged off the stage. So all in all, if I have to summarize this jogging, extremely lovely speech today, I love the way you added question. You had great body attire today. You had a story. If you could just take care of the content placement and have a better closing, it's a wow speech out there. Over to General Value.